Hello guys, and we're back with Olaf and the Loot. And I say we're back because I've already covered this game on my Friday Free For All series, and I just was enjoying it so much when I was playing it that I just couldn't even stop. So I've actually restarted. Uh, I'm not continuing from there, but you can check out the Friday Free For All video below if you would like. Basically, Olaf and the Loot is a melody-based post-apocalyptic fantasy puzzle game, if that kind of gives you an idea. And I'm just gonna play through it. So, uh, this should already be, if you've seen the other video, there's a cup of fire and a sword. I need to repair these to fix this loom, which is not functioning as this introduction is kind of showing us. The cup is now empty, the fire is now out, and the sword is now broken. So I have to go and learn some different melodies to use on my lute to fix different things in the world and to go back and fix the loom itself. All right. So the beginning will be familiar to you if you have watched the previous video, but I didn't actually go very far. So uh, we wake up in a cave, we find an empty book, and I don't think there's anywhere. Uh, yeah, I think that's just a kind of a cove there. We're going to need this loot. Look left, look right, look left. Yoink! And this is an old rune stone. What might this tell us? And it has the water, fire, and I guess it's for fixing with the eye and the loom. So we're gonna continue on this way. Loom seems not to be working. There's the empty goblet, the yeah, it's empty. Fireplace. How about a nice crackling fire? And the sword. No fights to win with this. And the loom. How could we turn this on? So we need to learn some melodies first. This is kind of, I guess, the tutorial level. King-sized key. blue, orange, blue, red, and we get a little plus sign in the book, which means a melody has been added. So you play it this way to open and that way to close. So it's blue, orange, blue, red. Um, but before we do that, we actually want to select the queen size door and have that down here. Bring out the loot. Blue, orange, blue, red. And that's the basic mechanic for the game. The rest is just kind of figuring out how to solve puzzles and exploring the post-apocalyptic wasteland, which seems to be in Japan as far as I can understand. Uh, this carved sign, I think that's symbolizing the loom. And this is a part we already discovered as well. The shishio doshi, um, what does I say, I think it needs water. And this cracking leak says it's almost open, just a little bit more. So if we bring this out, because this is open, so blue, orange, blue, Red. And that teaches us... <laughs> still not going to say that, but it makes me laugh. Uh, it teaches us a new melody, which we can use for filling and draining. I like how the word is even backwards too, is to imply that you have to play it backwards. So we're going to have to open and close, fill and drain different things. Um, to be able to get farther in the game. So we also have a broken bicycle, which I believe once we do learn uh, whatever melody we need to fix the sword, I think we're gonna use that to fix the broken bike. What's the barrel say? Yeah, made in Fukushima. Gor Gorbindi, good. Never heard of the city. Uh, I went over here before. I'm gonna take a peek. I think we're pretty much, we're almost out of all the things that I did in the in the previous video, so it'll start to be completely new. But this is a river. Water's pretty low. So if I use the fill, so blue, green, orange, red. Hypothetically. Oh, yeah, okay, good. I did have it selected. Ah, there you go. And we do have a bridge here. I'm not going to go fill the cup just yet because I'm pretty sure I can do that at any time. I don't... Uh-oh. Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to have to be able to find a way back, right? Eventually? 
Well, I did find the fire one. Um, can I talk to these guys? That was probably a greeting. <laughs> probably. Hey, do you know how to awake the loon? <laughs> Enjoy your meal then. Can I click on his meal? No. Can I click on his stuff and learn anything else? Can't learn anything else from here. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to go any farther this way. Can't go down here. Guess I just came here to learn about the fire, so I'm gonna have to exit this way again, hopefully. No, no. Jesus could, I can't. <laughs> okay, so if I empty it again, so red, orange, green, blue, would I be able to get across that way? No. What if I fill it again? Will that... Yeah, water's pretty low. Blue, green, orange, red. If I fill it again, will I get more wood or something to cross? Blue, green, orange, red. Uh-oh. Um, I may have gotten stuck. Um, this may... <laughs> Maybe a bad thing. May have just screwed myself. I don't have anything else that I can open, close, fill, drain, heat, freeze. <gasps> freeze! Okay, good. Blue, purple, purple, orange. Okay, let's go back. Totally didn't even think of that. Blue, purple, purple, orange. Oh, I didn't have it selected. Select the river. Alright. There we go. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Can I go this way? No, can't go that way. I don't think I can go that way either. Let's go back here. Um, and is this area different? Yes. Oh no! Okay, mushroom... That didn't look healthy. What did that do? Poison heal. Okay, interesting. Interesting. His TV is broken. Oh, so can I heal it? Is that part of the... Everything's broken here. Yeah! Okay, so healing is red purple, orange, green. Uh, red. Oh no no! No no! Not, not there! Still have a broken television. Click on the loot. Red, purple, orange, green. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't do anything. So I don't have... Uh, I can't go any farther that way. Flowers, wait. Uh, let's click on the flowers. Asdaf. Okay. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Let's move on. I still haven't found out how to fix broken things. Uh, let's go... Let's go do the fire and the water, at least. And then we'll go down the road there and see if we can get the final piece of the puzzle to turn the loom back on. But I don't know what we're supposed to do after that. Or if that's the end. So for the goblet, blue, green, orange, red. And for the fire... Orange, purple, purple, blue. Alright. 
let's move back on to the street and see if we can find something to help us mend the sword as well as the TV and the bike. Don't really know what this barrel is here for. Maybe can I heal it since it's poison? Oh, there's a guy. Does he have tusks? I could build a bone. Buki. He enjoyed one too many. Thanks, you too. Okay. Buki's house. Is that gasoline? Okay, well there's other things, but apparently I can only click on gasoline and I guess that's what he... Doesn't really help us, does it? Well, it's garbage and I can click on it, so... Guess I will heal this guy. So red, purple, orange, green. No, no! That's not what I wanted to click on. Click on the loot. Red, purple, orange, green. You're welcome. I'm just gonna come into your house now. Keep calm and drink. Hakuna Matata. Can't really click on anything. Oh, plate. Hmm, all eaten up. Spooky's in there. Power switch. Ooh, there's a lot of weird things in here. Don't want to click on the wrong one first. Looks- I liked the previous model better. Interesting. I don't think- is there anything else I can click on there? No. Power switch. Energy. And that is for- oh, destroy repair. What is- what's going on? Things went into a hole and I wasn't even looking. I feel bad now. I can't click on anything up there. Sleep tight. Can I go... That's a deep one. What if I press it again? bear, cup, glasses. Okay, it just smashes things for no reason. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. So now... Wait, can I go this way? No. I can only go this way. So go fix the bike. So, orange, purple, red, blue. Whoosh! <laughs> and it's pink now! Alright, so does... Does it being pink mean anything, or... I guess we'll just go fix the TV, or the ghost, I guess? Broken television, and I've already forgotten. Orange, purple, red, blue. Alright. Orange, purple, red, blue. Oh, I guess it's better. Oh, and he's doing karaoke. What did that do? Did that put me to sleep or something? Hmm. So, okay, sleep and awake. So I can go awake that guy again, I guess, if I wanted to. Can I fix the TV again, or does that... Does that do anything? It can, but it doesn't 
like when I click on it, it doesn't actually do anything. So I'm just going to leave that there. And I guess we'll go fix the sword and see what happens. Go back to the loom. Select the sword. And we need orange, purple, red, blue. Alright. Now what? <laughs> what have I done? Was it a good thing? We need to wake it up now. What is... okay. I guess we'll use the, the wake up. Orange, purple, green, blue. And that's that. I kind of suspected that it was going to be relatively short. I mean, considering it is a free game and it does give you explicit directions on, on what you need to do to be able to beat it, basically. But I was holding out hope that it'd be longer. I really enjoyed that atmosphere. And while, you know, having a musical instrument that solves problems through specific key presses isn't revolutionary, I enjoyed the puzzles and some of the weird puzzles we had to do. I, there definitely needs to be more post-apocalyptic fantasy puzzle games though, that's for sure. I'm all for it. And hopefully these guys actually release more games like this. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you'd like to try the game out for yourself or check out the soundtrack, I've got the links below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.